Today we are going to see how to make the standard cell library cells using a uh, Synopsys Silicon Smart and Library Compiler. So the technology file I used is 32 nanometer FinFET. You can also use the steps uh, for your own technology file or your CMOS or whatever it is. So the first, what you're going to do is just create a directly uh, with whatever your name you want and store all of your library files, netlists and extra files also in it so that you it can be easily accessible and you can know where it can be located so if you could see these are all my netlist files and my library files and most one p most one and most two and p most two and uh, I stored all of my spice files uh, in a separate folder so that when I import them it could be easier just to import ho the whole directory in it the main thing which you have to consider here is instead of saving the file by dot sp you have to save it under the name of dot spice just be careful about it and the other this folder this is a library file which you're going to create in your silicon smart not over here and this is the other file this is a dot db file which you're going to use in design vision to import it and yeah. So if you could just look here, this is an example for the XNOR file in the FinFET which I created. Uh, this is basically your .sp file, but in Silicon Smart we are gonna save it under as .spice file. Since it's a FinFET and it's a double get, it has pmos1, pmos2, nmos1, nmos2. But when you're going for cmos, it's just gonna be your dot circuit description of your gate nothing extra files you're gonna need add in it so after this is done just come out of your folder and just type silicon smart and this is gonna open your silicon smart shell which is gonna be uh, sis underscore cci so after this is done the next step is creating your library file which i shown you before you're going to create this file in this so for creating that file just use this command create space hyphen legacy space your whatever file name you want to give i'm not going to create it again since i created it before so in order to store all of your silicon smart files you need to know the path of your library where it is so for that and to set your location of your library file just use your command as set underscore location and your file path so it's gonna show your path of your files where it's gonna where your silicon smart files are gonna get stored so after that just exit and now what you need to do is we need to configure our TCL file so that our netlist and so that our netlist files whatever files we are going to import they are going to get recognized as dot spice files so what we are going to do here is just go to your library file which you gave before and in that if you could just see you can see all of these files in it so just go to your config and in the config it's got you, you can see a file as configure.tcl so in this just type nano configure.tcl so it's gonna open this file up so in this what are the corrections we are gonna need to do are we need to include all of our library files which are the .pm files which we're going to include under this under this sentence set op op process op underscore co nd so after doing that we are going to set our parameters parameter file names as since we have two gates we are going to set one or one pmos gate as pmos1 another as pmos2 and similarly the nmos but if you are doing in cmos you you're not going to you don't need to do it pmos1 pmos2 just pmos and nmos simply are fine so after that if you you'll you'll find that uh, 
in the silicon smart the default simulator it's gonna take in is fine sim but since we are using head spice what we're gonna do is we're gonna comment these lines and uncomment the head spice lines in so that it can recognize that head spice is your simulator so if you could just see yeah we just did step seven eight nine so after this is done just press ctrl x and it's gonna ask you to save it or not so save it yes so after that you're gonna come out of it then come out of your folder and yeah so go to your main folder main directory and go to silicon smart so the main thing which you have to remember in this is whenever you configure uh, whenever you edit your .tcl file you have to set your path of your directory each and every time so just set your location it's gonna show the library path where it's storing your files so after this we are gonna import our netlist which we created and saved it in a separate folder into this so just type import hyphen netlist underscore dir and your folder name where all my netlist files are there so it's gonna import everything whatever you have in this so how do we know basically that the import is completed it's gonna show import completed but sometimes there may be error or not so in order to check that if your import is completely done it's gonna create a file called as dot instant file under your control folder you can just go into your library and go to your control folder and just check if the instant file is present or not so that it's know that your importation is done perfectly this is how your import file look like your cell function and your pin definitions are going to be basically defined in it so after this is done we are going to configure it and s import all the test test files so just type configure and it's going to generate your timing test power test and your template so after this is done we are going to characterize our cells just type characterize and enter so it's gonna take uh, three to four minutes of your time but it's gonna characterize so if its characterization is done perfectly then it's gonna uh, show this command all tasks finished successfully yeah so if you see it's generating your characterization tasks and everything so yeah if you could just see this all tasks finished successfully so our characterization is done then after this we are gonna set our model files that is we are gonna create a dot library file from all this so just type model and enter and your library file is created and this is the path of your library file so once your library file is created just exit from this so now we are gonna what we're gonna do is convert our dot lib file to dot db file for that we are gonna use of library compiler so just go to your library compiler uh, for that just type lc underscore shell it's gonna take your library compiler lc underscore shell if you just see this is your library compiler part so in order to convert your dot lib file to db file first you have to read your dot lib file so since i already done that and if i do it again it's going to show an error so i'm just going to show you how to do it so just type this command read underscore lib and your library path name and if after that is done just write another command as write underscore lib op underscore cond space hyphen format space db space hyphen output and you can change this one to whatever name you want and if this is done perfectly it's gonna show this file so if this file appears in your folder it means your standard cells 
are done so this is the this is the file which you're gonna call which you're going to call into your design vision and make use of this so yeah this is where how you do your standard cell libraries